that makes it more valid for people. Put in the sick call slip initially. I had been telling officers for days that I hadn't been feeling well, but I didn't know what it was. But I felt that I had to put in the sick call slip because I was not able to taste anything. That is the reason why I was seen by nurses. That is the reason why the COVID test was administered and that's why I'm on the protocol as we speak. Are you willing to discuss with me what tests were done? Again, I, I cannot obtain that I, information I don't, I'm on not my a, own. I'm not a nurse, Your Honor. I don't know the name of the test. I don't, like I said, I mean, I've never had this let happen. Let me clarify that. That was a, bad, that was a pretty ambiguous question. So, um, you reported symptoms as, as, that's what you're telling me, right? Correct. And you're saying some tests were done? I mean, that it's obvious. I mean, why can't it be verified with, with the nurse? I have to verify it with you. The nurse will not provide me with this information. But the jail can because they control the movement. They control um, all inmate movement. I can't just go from my cell to an HSU. Inmate movement is not the issue it's at the HIPAA, moment. I think, right? But it, I'm saying, how can I tell you, how can I answer what you're asking me, it, it, it doesn't make sense. We all understand that the jail itself <laughs> controls the movement of the inmates. That's, that's common sense, Your Honor. I, I'm not here to talk about inmate movement just, at the I moment. What I'm asking you is, were you, do you believe you were tested for COVID? I obviously was tested for COVID. I, I would not be on the protocol if I was not. Do you know the what nurses, type of test? Was it an, an oral swab, a nasal swab? It was a nasal swab. All right. Do you know when the results of that test will be back? Uh, from my understanding, Friday. That's what I was told by the doctors. I would have to be at least on this protocol until the results come back, which you, he said the earliest would be Friday. Were you offered a rapid test? They said they do not do the rapid test. Um, were you, so you weren't offered a rapid test? They said they don't do them. Um, if one can be obtained, are you willing to submit to a rapid test? I'm, I'm not willing to submit to anything right now until we take care of the issues that, that's at hand. I mean, I've already been placed on the protocol. I'm, frankly, I'm a, very afraid right now because I, I don't know what's going on. I've, this is new to me. Like I said, I'm fully vaccinated, Your Honor. I've been fully vaccinated since 2021. And so for this to just be sprung on me now to say this could possibly be a COVID thing, I, I've had people close to me that have passed away from COVID. I'm afraid as hell, Your Honor. That's the reason why I submitted the ICF for the adjournment. I was thinking at least until I can get the results at, at bare minimum. I don't think I'm asking something that's Sir, impossible for you. If your I can make arrangements to have a rapid test brought to you and administered, are you willing to submit to that test? Not at this time. Why not? Not at this time. Why not? Why can't I get the results of the test I already took? But you're telling me you're scared, you're yes, fearful. Yes, I am. I but am you don't very... want to take a test that might I tell took, you today? I took the test that, that he, he gave me. If, and if you're telling felt, me that test result won't be available to you until at least Friday. At least Friday. That's what I was so told. tomorrow. I was told that I would be so placed on after. this protocol until the results came back. The earliest that the results would be back would be Friday. So that sounds like, to me, I think that's what they call a PCR test. I, I have no idea, Your Honor. Okay. I have no idea what it's called. Like Let I me said, ask I've you never had COVID. I don't know the test names i don't know what they call them I... i'm generally familiar with some of the testing for covid there are tests that can be what we call rapid tests or what are called rapid tests that are available um, and then there's uh, these other tests which take a few days um, it's again i'm not a scientist but i think the general uh, belief would be sometimes the rapid tests are accurate sometimes they're not um, sometimes people test negative when they're really positive. It just kind of depends on the circumstances. But it's my understanding a positive test would be pretty accurate. And then there's other tests that take a few days for the results to come back. It really depends on the 
the lab that's being utilized, um, et cetera. Um, I am I'm asking you once again, if a rapid test can be obtained, are you willing to take a rapid test? How would that be obtained? How would it be obtained? I, would I was work told with I can only go by what was told to me because when I was brought in there and they told me that they had to test me for COVID, I was immediately like, what, what, what do you mean you have to even test me for this? What, what is this about? Well, didn't I had you report lieutenant, symptoms had, to them? Excuse me, Your Honor. I had a lieutenant <sighs> Chill. and two officers present when I was asking all these questions. Why do I need, what's going on with this? Why is this? Why is this? Why is that? Because I didn't understand. The, immediately in my head, I started to get afraid when they said, they had to even test for COVID. Well, were you reporting um, being sick and symptoms prior to them have asking you to test? Yes, I've told multiple officers. I didn't know what it was at first because it started with fatigue, with me feeling very fatigued. And I said, man, I don't know if it's just, just me being tired or that's what I initially thought it was. Maybe I'm just a little exhausted, but I said, no, anybody knows their body. I said, something, it's, this got to be something more because I'm really, 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 I don't even have an appetite. Then when I'm trying to eat, I can't taste anything. That's what said, okay, now I need to put the uh, medical uh, sick When did you report sleeping. these symptoms to the medical people or to even just a correctional officer? Um, a few days ago. A few days ago, uh, over the weekend is when I started to notice the fatigue. So I, I was telling officers, man, I don't feel good. I don't know if it's just I'm tired. Usually, when did you... usually I don't I don't just jump the gun and say something's wrong because it may just be it could be anything. So when did you report the loss of taste? I reported the loss of taste last night. And was it after that that they told you they wanted to test you? No, they didn't tell me till this morning that they wanted to test me. What other symptoms uh, are you? reporting at this time that was it so far just the fatigue there's a guy that ran over what like six people or whatever during a parade which is the reason why i was told that i had to take the test so this is also something that we see a lot which i was told at that time also oh, and injured 62 people as well my results would be back would be friday And you said at this point, you're not willing to take a rapid test. Well, they said, they said this is the test that they do. They, the nurse was very clear in what he was telling me when he told me how the test, because I, like I said, there was a lieutenant and two officers right there while the whole thing was going on. I understand and, all of that. I have a very specific was, question to I you, sir. I was asking though. them questions and he, he specifically told me that this jail, this is the test that they do. They do not do rapid tests. I didn't even ask She's about looping. the test because I know nothing about or the he's test. Looping. This is what I was told. And after he told me that, I said, okay, fine, just do the test and I'll just sit on the protocol because at first when he told me, you know you're going to have to be on a protocol where you're isolated. I said, okay, fine, just, just do the test. I'd rather you do the test and make sure that I'm healthy then to just refuse the test and just say, I just wait for it to see if I get better or something like that. So I said, yeah, just go ahead. And that's what I was informed. Friday would be the earliest that I would get the results back. And I would be placed on a protocol, which is called isolation, where I'm not allowed out of my cell. Anything else, sir, you think I need to know about this issue as I consider your request? No, at this time, I, I'm, I'm just telling you what I know. Um, multiple officers were there. They can tell you the same thing that I'm telling you now. Like I said, a lieutenant, Lieutenant Chamberlain was there. Two officers were there. Any objection if I uh, talk to any of them to confirm absolutely, what you're saying? Absolutely not. Any objection if I... Uh, need to ask the jail administrator about or anyone else at the jail about the protocols and uh, what's available for testing? Absolutely not. Given any information about whether anyone else in the facility is experiencing COVID right now? 
Um, I wouldn't know that. I'm, I wouldn't know who I'm in the mental health uh, medical pod as it is. I, I'm so no information has been provided to you that uh, there's like either a lockdown or uh, some type of a restriction due to any like concern over COVID at this time. I would, I would, poss I would never have that information because, like I said, I'm I'm limited in the pod that I'm in. I don't have no interaction with any other inmates, and my interaction with staff is pretty limited. All right, thank you. I appreciate that additional information. Um, I know, sir, what I've provided to you is generally the, um, for employees, I, I fully recognize that the jail may have different protocols just because of the, it being in a, a correctional facility and uh, inmates are, of course, uh, or can be very close to one another. Um, and so I would, I, I don't want to presume that this is exactly what they What are we followed. watching? Um, this guy so ran, I guess, a van and killed six people and injured like 60 more. And he's decided to represent class. himself in his court um, case. At the moment, um, I, I told you this earlier, you're not uh, within six feet of anyone else in this courtroom. Um, and uh, I believe that provides ample protection for the other people in this courtroom. Um, as I consider this request, um, you provided uh, information to the court. You've uh, been able to tell me the symptoms that you are reporting, your understanding of the protocols. Um, and um, despite you uh, reporting Where did this happen? Fatigue, I don't know, Wakashuka, um, whatever the fuck? I, I don't know if you're standing or sitting on the chair. I can't quite tell. It appears like you're standing, but maybe leaning over the yeah, table. Oh, knee on the chair. Okay, but you've been able to very clearly, coherently make your position known to the court at this time, and I appreciate that. Uh, let me ask uh, uh, Attorney Opper if there's anything you would want to provide or state at this time reg regarding this request. Uh, yes, Your Honor, a couple of things. Number one, we believe this is nothing more than a further delay tactic by Mr. Brooks. I can advise the court. Uh, as an officer of the court and as an offer of proof that he is how can how Mr. could that Brooks, how could that even Opera interrupt you when you were talking well i respectfully object you can that. object your objections noted but you need to let her <laughs> state what she needs to state i will give you an opportunity to respond that, i'd encourage you to use paper and a pen to write down that's the rules of decorum in the courtroom sir we generally avoid interrupting one another so that number one the record can be clear and perhaps most importantly because that is a sign that we all understand that this is a place of dignity it is a place of is there respect. a way to flip it demonstrates a blueprint like mirror it? that frankly a willingness on the participants to uh, conduct themselves appropriately. It avoids creating F disorder or no disruption. Shot. So oh I will God. give you an Thank opportunity God. to respond, but you need to give Attorney Opper an opportunity without interruption. Go ahead, Attorney Opper. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, again, we believe this is a delay tactic in line with the defendant's behavior since about the August 25th or 26th motion hearing. I can advise the court uh, as an officer of the court that Mr. Brooks has been saying for the last several weeks in his recorded jail calls to his mother and others uh -oh. that he's going to get this trial delayed or adjourned or uh -oh. pushed back. This behavior, again, on the 11th hour is 100% consistent with that. I believe that if the court wanted more information from the jail administrator, she is present and could provide that information. I believe Mr. Brooks has waived uh, any hippo uh, privacy rights he may have. Hippo? In regard, <laughs> <and indicated laughs> hippo? <laughs> and also I believe she would be able to provide information if the court ordered her to do so. I believe that even if he is on COVID protocol, it will have zero impact on his ability to prepare for this case. As we've learned already, and I'm prepared to make a further record, he has all of his discovery materials within the confines of his jail cell. He has a tablet made available to him 
in the confines of his own jail cell and he has the ability to use a conference room in his pod. I don't believe the COVID protocol would interfere with his ability to access that conference room whatsoever. But again, I could verify that. But you also, <laughs> you also kind of misspoke, the so. <laughs> fact. The fact that he claims to have started reporting symptoms as far back as the weekend, we're probably right up what against the weekend five have to do days with this? right now. If he started this on Saturday, which I don't believe there's any record of, um, we're at five days right now. And certainly the courts offer to... I never once said... I never have said an I never no, momentarily. No, no you I need respectfully to object to that because that that has no merit. Uh, Mr. Brooks, I, it's not your said, time no, to speak. No, I respectfully object. I never reported. I never reported saying what day. I never said a day. And if you you saying she's saying she has jail phone calls, well, why why aren't they present? Why can't they be verified by sworn affidavit and, and, and brought into this court to be shown? That this is a Ooh. delay tactic, as you say it is. Ooh. How come it can't be shown by sworn affidavit? Can Did you she provide proof of submit that? those? All right, Mr. Brooks, I've given you a little Just bit of like, leeway like because we are outside the I've presence of the jury. I haven't, I haven't given consent to waive anything. I've simply told the judge that I had no issue with her verifying with the jail that this protocol is in effect and that I was in effect, uh, uh, that I was in effect, tested for COVID-19. How could that be a delay tactic? If that was a delay tactic, why would I even need to be tested and placed on the protocol? Why does everybody have to have on masks to bring me down here? All right, Mr. Brooks, there no, I've there given, no verification? Mr. Brooks, I'm gonna warn you now that you have interrupted a couple of times. Uh-oh. Um, you interrupted I have, I have attorney Opper twice. I have to twice. be able to speak up. You're now Honor. interrupting me yet again. Um, I, we all were polite and had you provide that information. That was not That was abuse. That's the, at least that was, the third that was uh, interruption of this court. That was that was abuse by the prosecution. Okay. That was abuse. Mr. Brooks, to, to let sit, me finish. Sit, no, because that's, so I he, now not, he's I outright refusing to listen. No, he's no. outright. Talking not, over no, me I didn't at the moment. Anything. I didn't refuse Mr. anything. Mr. Brooks, we are at I'm the not, point I'm not gonna, yet again I'm not gonna, I'm not where gonna I will put you in the other courtroom because you are not consent, able. I don't consent to being removed. I have not waived the right to be present, and I don't agree with that. Mr. Brooks, does it? Does the I record have reflect? provided does you the, on multiple occasions the, and it's. Should be in and front of you. No, and I, don't not, I, don't, I don't acknowledge that. I haven't agreed to it. You have been advised on multiple occasions that you need to abide by the standards of courtesy and decorum for the courts of Wisconsin. Uh, because you are a, a litigant, you're both a named defendant, you are now acting as your own attorney by representing yourself. I don't recognize the name that, that all of the, the rules of courtesy and decorum apply complaint. to you. I don't recognize that name, Your um, Honor. That Supreme is not Court who I Rule 62.02 um, details many of the requirements uh, for de for courtesy and decorum. I've referenced a couple of them on multiple occasions, including that um, sub 1 sub F of 62.02 uh, that proper conduct and attire is expected within the courthouse and um, where, where possible, um, individuals, including yourself, right, are to refrain from creating disorder and disruption. Uh, sub H, you're supposed to conduct yourself in a manner which demonstrates sensitivity to the necessity of preserving decorum and integrity of the judicial process. Um, you have been advised um, multiple times, sir, of the expectation that this court has that you conduct yourself uh, in a civil manner. Um, you've been advised multiple times that this court will not tolerate uh, disruptions, interruptions, um, that when you do that, you run the risk of uh, forfeiting your right to be present in the courtroom. Um, as you know, I have available uh, the courtroom next door that's uh, connected to the 
holding area. Um, it is connected by audio and visual means. Um, it provides you an opportunity to meaningfully participate by also giving the court the opportunity to um, control the decorum, to control the disruptive behavior because primarily your disruptive behavior is repeated interruptions of this court talking over this court, now talking over uh, the prosecutor. I appreciate that you have not interrupted me for quite some time. Um, so at this point though, I need to warn you that further interruptions uh, may very well result in you being removed to the other courtroom where you would participate by audiovisual Damn. <laughs> she can use At the mute time, button. He's going to get Discord muted. From the court administrator, especially as it relates to the protocol. Um, Jail did I say the court administrator? Yes, that's all right. That's okay. We're in court, and <laughs> I would like to hear from the jail administrator. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, just to get she misspoke. God, I wish she would just drop um, one. Your Honor, you did just misspeak. So, regarding the just one, he just has to drop one of those to win the whole case. Uh, since he indicated I could verify all of this information with either the lieutenant or others who were present. Uh, so, I believe we have uh, Angela Wallenhaupt here. If she would come up to the witness stand, Your Honor, if I don't want to mix issues, but the Inmate communication form from September 28th also still needs to be addressed by the court, and I think the jail administrator may have some information relevant to that issue as well. All right, thank Please. you. I have a list of a bunch of things I want to um, go over, and I'm gonna. So, Your Honor, just so clear, um, are we addressing the issue at hand now? We are. Or are we addressing something from September? Well, I will get to the September uh, inmate communication form uh, at some point during this hearing, but right now I'm addressing the most recent inmate communication form that uh, is dated October 5, um, and that addresses your request for an adjournment. Um, so uh, I'll have you sworn in. Um, I'll just do it. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you are about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. If you're an atheist and you break that oath, is it really a big deal? Last names Should it be? Record? Angela Wallenhop. Would you spell your last name? W-O-L-L-E-N-H-A-U-P-T. Thank you. Um, you are, uh, if you could please uh, advise us on the record again of your uh, job title and responsibilities. I'm the jail administrator for the Waukesha County Sheriff's Department. I am head of the division in charge of all staff and inmate issues. No, you just got a super hell when you die? Oof. Okay. Could you provide information to the court on the general COVID protocol uh, within the jail? Judge, I would prefer to not speak to the operational um, considerations with that. Um, I can speak to the fact that um, there are different protocols that are put on people for different medical or management reasons, um, which may have modifications to them. I can speak to the protocol Mr. Brooks has placed on that it won't affect the area he is living in, um, nor access to um, areas where that are not other inmate occupied. Um, that seems fair. I don't want to certainly put all of your operations on display. That's not necessary. Um, but if you could speak to the specifics as it relates to Mr. Brooks's current situation. So he, it, he would remain in his current cell housing location. Um, he would have access to a conference room um, if he needed it, access to a telephone. And we would be able to, um, it, it's a safety security measure for him as well as our staff and we can safely produce him for court. When I hear the phrase being on a protocol, that to me could have more than one reason. Someone could have been exposed, someone could have tested, or someone could have reported symptoms that required testing. 
Would I be mistaken in any of those beliefs? You are correct, Judge. Would there be any other reasons for someone to be placed on a protocol, a COVID-19 protocol within the Waukesha County Jail? No. And would you tell me which one of those three options has prompted the COVID protocol for Mr. Brooks? Judge, I have not reviewed his medical record prior to arriving here. All right, fair enough. Well, the fuck are you here then? Do you, do you have an understanding of what that is? Yes, based however, on information provided to you. Yes, however, he has not signed a release allowing me to speak to the court. So if you are ordering me to speak to the court, I can speak to what my understanding is. Um, Mr. Brooks, I took your statements earlier that you uh, would not object to me asking jail staff about the current situation to verify the information you provided. Is that still correct? Uh, I said that I wouldn't have any issue with pertaining to myself. I don't know. I'm not speaking about anybody else in the jail. I'm not speaking about what their everybody's situation is different. Right. And I'm specifically referring to your situation. Well, the question was asked then, how does it pertain to me? It was pertaining to me, all the questions, which it came up when I said that there was a lieutenant and there were officers present when I took this test from the nurse. Right. I'd like to verify the information that you're providing to me regarding uh, what was reported by you, what tests or test or tests were administered and why you're on the protocol with the jail administrator. First of all, do you understand what I want to ask her about? Is there any other channel for D&D? Yeah, I think I will today. Did you hear what I said just now? I do not understand. But did you uh, hear what frankly, I said? Frankly, Your Honor, I think she would probably be the wrong person to be asking because she wasn't present. You must understand then what I'm saying if you think she's not the person who would provide that no, I information. Don't so I didn't consent um, to understanding or agreeing to that. <laughs> no, I do not understand. All right. Um, I took his statements earlier. I realize you don't have a written waiver as to be um, a verbal waiver of any uh, privacy rights under HIPAA, and I am directing you to answer the question. Oh. It was brought to my attention shortly before the lunch hour um, that he had made statements that prompted um, the medical department to follow up. As I said before, I have not reviewed the medical record. It is my understanding he was administered a test. Um, he was also offered another test to which he refused. Do you have any information regarding whether this other test would have been a rapid test? I believe it to be. Do you, do you have those tests available in the facility to offer to an individual? I have one available right now. Ooh. Can I ask a question, Your Honor? Of me or of the witness? Of uh, jail administration. Um, go ahead. You can ask a question. Miss um, Wallenhoff, if there were different types of tests available, why wasn't I administered the correct test when I first was tested? Why would, why would, why would essentially I would be asked to take a test, take that test, then turn around again and be told to take a whole nother test? In my mind, that's almost like some type of ploy or something, some type of scheme. Why, sir, why? Sir, what's the question? I asked the question, why would I not be given the correct test from the get go instead of having to take two tests? If I've already taken, if I've already Mr. taken Brooks, one test. You have to give her an opportunity to answer and you I've gotta already, ask one question at a time. I just asked the question. Can she answer it then? Do you want her to answer it? I presume you do since you asked the question, so you need to stop talking so that she can answer it, okay? Uh, well, limit your abuse, Your Honor. I'm sorry? I, limit your I don't abuse? I appreciate being talked to that way, Your Honor. Your objection is noted. Go ahead and answer. What? This Such judge is so nice. Why? He states the wrong <laughs> test. I don't know what he's speaking of. I have not reviewed the medical record. Or I almost want to say weak. So I prefer not to answer that question. I guess right, every judge right. has a different style. Jesus. Test, or maybe I'm like poisoned from like traffic court. Oh my God. <laughs> Why would I need to take two tests 
for the same symptom. I went to court in Kansas City like five times because yeah. I kept trying to continue yeah, a, my, bull, my well, I shouldn't say bullshit, but my traffic, um, <laughs> my suspended license case. Dude, I remember one of the judges there, they threw out like two different defendants because of what they were wearing. Like they showed up to ask or whatever some, I don't know if they were trying to ask for the case to be continued, but the judge like rescheduled their shit and told them to come back to their initial hearing just because of the clothes they had on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Any other questions? But maybe it's not always like that. I don't know. I don't think I was clear or I didn't have clarity on the the answer to that question. Essentially, what I'm asking is why would I need to take two tests for the same thing? There shouldn't if, if it's if I'm taking a COVID test, why would I need to take another one? Lack of foundation and beyond the scope of this witness's knowledge, Your Honor. Um, the objection is sustained. Ooh. I'll direct the witness. She does not need to answer that question. Next question, if you have one, please. I don't, I still don't have clarity on that, Your Honor. I'm, I'm, oh, no. I'm, Do you guys know the Chad, not Chud, uh, dude? Do you have another question? That's another guy that, like, fucking hates me on Twitter. Oh, also, I'm not debating that synth guy again. The last conversation I had was brain rotting. Because I'm not providing a product to investors. I won't be sharing expense breakdowns. I've even been advised by lawyers to keep everything close to the chat, close to the vest for legal and safety reasons. When I continue to consult with my lawyers, I'll provide updates to appropriate. Charities also provide expense breakdowns. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, fuck, I'm missing this guy's last tweet. I'm pretty sure he, he um, even says, sorry for everybody that got scammed. <laughs> Jesus.